So I'll take you back to 2004 Vikings versus the Packers. Now, the first game, this was November 14th, 2004. And I remember this game because we're in Green Bay and I'm going off. I'm having the game of my life. I'm thinking to myself, this is the changing of the guards, but we lose on this field goal right here. We lose 34 to 31. Longwell game winning field goal. I had 11 catches, 141 in the TD. I'm feeling good about myself. I'm like, all right, when we face these guys again, I'm going to give them everything I got, and we're going to get this dub. We're going to beat the Packers. Second game, December 24th, 2004. Packers in, in Minnesota. I have a monster game once again. They only threw the ball to me two times. I had 110 in a TD. I'm thinking to myself, I got this. We got this. We're going to win this game. Longwell hits another game-winning field goal. The exact same score as before, 34 to 31. So we're sitting back at the end of the season. We need a little help to get in, and we get into the playoffs, and we pull our wild card matchup, and guess who we got? The Green Bay Packers in Green Bay. And I remember as a locker room collectively, we was taking a breath and saying, all right, we're going to go out here and do our thing. There's my guy, Mo Williams, right there. This was one of the first plays of the game. And I'm thinking to myself, whoo we we are putting it on these guys. We can do whatever we want. We were scoring on the ground. We were scoring in the air. We were getting sacks on Brett Favre, who was an absolute legend. I remember Randy Moss catching this over Al Harris and he goes to the goalpost and does a little moon. And at that time, everybody was disgusted. And I'm thinking to myself, this is it. This is the moment where we beat up on these guys. He does this moon celebration right here. And the crowd, they're disgusted, of course. But here's the thing people don't realize is the fans would moon us when we would leave the stadium every time we were on our way out of Lambeau. I remember getting in the end zone that game and it was a moment where coach said to me, you're going to go up against a young quarterback and Randy Moss is going to be double covered and I need you to make a play. I ended up running the slant route, getting in the end zone. And at that moment, I got to the sideline and Randy Moss, well, he was going off. Check this Any out. Any team okay. that want to play the Minnesota Vikings one-on-one single okay. safety, okay. we will end your game quick. Okay. Yeah, I had more uh, hair on my upper lip than I did on my head. That was young Nate right there. Uh, so for everybody that's sitting at home looking at this wild card weekend, specifically with this game, and you're trying to figure out who has the advantage. Like I said, if you're the Saints, yeah, you have the advantage because you beat them twice. But if you're the Panthers, you can come in and beat up on a team that beats you twice during the regular season. It is very, very difficult to beat the same team three times in one season. So for me, going to Green Bay, where the snow was falling on the ground, feeling the nostalgia in the air, looking across the field and seeing the legendary Brett Favre. I remember us beating up on the team and, and having a lead and looking at the scoreboard, Randy Moss saying, hey, young fella, pay attention to the field. He gets up off the bench and he says, hey, I got to see this. This is Brett Favre on the field. And it was like a superstar just getting himself up and going rushing to the first seat in the movie theater to watch a show. And I immediately ran to the sideline like, you know what? It's not over. This is a legend at work. And this is why this game is going to be one of the most exciting games of the weekend because you got Cam Newton, who is a legend in his own right. He's a young legend. But you got a real legend in Drew Brees, who is a Hall of Famer, who has the jewelry and has continued to fight off Father Time. So just like a heavyweight bout, they had two bouts in the regular season, and this one is going to be blow for blow, blow for blow. And the last man standing, the last team standing, is going to be victorious. My man. So, so my I man. got my you question for you, Nate. Yeah. Your message to the Panthers young guys who have had their butts kicked twice in a row by the Saints. Your games were close. The Saints have kicked their butts. What would be your message to those Panthers young guys going into the Superdome, a very hostile place to play? You know, I, I never used anger as a tool or motivation to play football, but we did that game because as soon as we pulled Green Bay, nobody gave us a chance. Uh, you know, I'll even take you into the locker room after the game. We're celebrating. Um, we're feeling ourselves, and I'm sitting next to Randy, who was my locker mate, and the reporters, they swarm, right? And he, they stand in front of him, Randy, congratulations. How do you feel about the victory? And he looks, and he finds a reporter. He's like, hey, I know you. And the guy's like, yeah. He's like, 
you're, you're from Minnesota, right? He's like, yeah, yeah, I write for the paper. He's like, yeah, um, you're the one that's been counting us out all season. Uh -oh. And he goes off like only Randy could. And at that time, the guy had to feel that, like the littlest person in the room and everybody's moving and parting to see. And at first, I felt bad for the guy, but in that moment, Randy was saying, you guys write all these things, and you think that we don't pay attention, and you're a homer, and you counted us out, but you want to come in here and celebrate. And that's the type of anger and motivation we played with. We walked in because we were so upset that we let these games slip out of our hands during the regular season, and they weren't ready for us. So for me, I would give the advice that you got to use every single bit of motivation and p make sure that you pay attention to what happened in the regular season because that game plan, that blueprint, could be the blueprint that helps you guys get the victory.